I'm looking up and that ball is gone. They know that uh, not a Carroll off. Looking up is Carroll off. Looking up is rep. So, and it, there it goes. Byron Buxton. Anybody else found the barrel? Meet the ball. A walk and scored on Buxton's home run. Swung on and missed. Or the field. There's one to Lintendi. Gone. Blowing hot and cold. That ball, that ball. Score from second base. Anderson is always loving his bag. The ability. For a strike. That's all you swing at. You're going to barrel up a lot. Alex Carroll off with a two run home run to start the scoring. And if you like the way Julian swings. The ball from your opposite field or back around to your pull field for real damage. The hard thing, long way. He's already got that skill. So he's going to get better and better at fit. Roller towards short. He's going to have to hustle to stay out of a double play. And he does. Kepler with an infield hit. And run scored in the first. And then he lined down to Luis Robert Jr. Uh, get ready in the, in the Sox pen. But Max has got that people. Chopped to third. Dug out by Berger. And they go around the horn. Ryan pitching to Eloy Jimenez. Sox figure to be quite busy between two Jimenez and now a ball. Now they've made pretty clear that uh, in Chicago land there's going to be a lot of guys that are being discussed. Two and two. Chopper towards short base hit for Jimenez to start the sixth inning. Actually got on top of that. Yeah, pitch. It's, it, that's a good pitch, but in that's strikeouts. Strike one on a breaking ball. It's a good, good spot with something other than fastball. So first pitch was a slider. He got strike one with a drilled foul. There's a ball. That's that's off the plate. Two and two. And now three and two to Berger. Strike three is called. And Berger has a beat. We'll throw something besides fastball for a strike when he needs it. Either to throw strike one or. That's hit to right. And the White Sox get two more. Without a hold. Hot. Correa out number two. Literally did not. Here and neither one could get there. And pulled away again at the end. Two and one. So seven to one. Foul back. Complete game shutout. Six innings complete. For Joe Ryan, not a quality start. Swung on and miss. So the White Sox come. Pulled foul, two strikes. Well, the Twins hitters know they're in a slump. And on three pitches, Walner is gone, one away. That'll bring up. First one on a fastball, exit ball. Afternoon. Pulled foul. Huh? And Byron's going good, and and can ball strike him. That pitch right there. That's similar to what he hit out. Is and now full count, Solano on deck. Aggressive with Lynn. He's got 16 outs here. He hasn't thrown 80 pitches yet. Got him upstairs. With a fastball. Two down in the sixth. Ball one. This is the sixth inning of work. Got now getting loose. One and one. Innings. On one soft hop, Andres throws him out. And so in favor of Minnesota here in the seventh, guys. And as we go to the seventh inning, only one Ryan. 
That's and a tumbling sliding catch by Walter one pitch one out. That pitch right there. He's pitching with more confidence. He's throwing more fastballs and also spin on his fastball and he can pitch up there. And I think now that he believes at 96 90. One and two now to Ben and It would surprise and drive. And there's a roller through the left side a base hit. And now can pitch up in the zone and he's also got a, a decent breaking ball now that he, he, he likes last time up. And there for sure. One and one. He's developed that cutter and it's, it's been a pretty good. Missing inside two and one. Oh straight back. Ninety six. And look like Anderson with Wilson. Full count. Anderson will chase. He'll chase up and he'll chase on the outside off the plate. Missed. And now a single followed by a walk, and here comes Robert. Mackey to the mound. And the two or two, and now a one out single and walk. The one guy you don't want to face with men on base. Obviously, this is a gigantic at bat here for, for both teams. Lisa. And it's Kepler with the catch. Foul back a strike at 97. Chopper to short. There goes the short way. Another scoreless inning for Pagan. The more you try to figure this game out, the more you should probably just throw your really suck it up and give his team five innings. Sheets with the catch, one away. Ball over, throwing it over, different different movements, different speeds. You got to be ready. He's not going to put guys on. He's not going to walk a lot of guys. He's just going to brush. It's it's amazing. He's in he's in the seventh inning. And there were some moments. Twenty starts for the Twins. Hundred and two through twenty one pitches. He's coming at you. Then gets another strike. Check this swing. Strike one. Cleveland taking a 6 5 lead. Ball oh, and dropping it on the wall, and Correa will go to. Pretty hard for players to be charged with errors, it seems, sometimes. And now a ball. Julian. Two. And two. There is some swing and miss in his game. And now it's a 3 2 count here with Kirilov on deck. Foul away. So we're talking about roughly. And there's another walk because he wouldn't. Ordan off the wall. Curry behind him. And Sox might challenge this, but. Kirilov with another run batted in and maybe two. The tag, but you can't tell until right there for sure when contact was made. Inside to Kepler. Liberty Mutual Field. Now Dollar is there to make the catch finally to end the at least for the time being and bring in Giovanni Moran. To a great degree. Low ball one. You saw Farmer in the game at third, moving Solano over to. Wow, we had one of those in Seattle yesterday. A long. Well, at least give it to the guy you took the battle, the Berger. There's his fourth strikeout of the night. Berger's analytics, and I mean, I mean at uh, Moran's analytics, and and he's done a great job. High leverage situation. It's a five-run ball game, but he's done a nice job with the with the line. When, when you know you got a guy out there, there's a left-hander's coming up, and you consistently off his glove, and now to Correa. Time to throw up Grandal easily. Carlos Perez.
Hitting for Gavin Sheets. Moran. So even though down by five runs, it may. Not going to give up. We're going to keep trying to right. throw somebody out there that's got. And now two and two. And Pagan, a scoreless seven, in for five first inning runs, and they lead by five as they hit now in the. That'll flop into short right center field. And in the sixth. Popped up right side. Can it be that simple? That does it. And Solano, 0 for 3, gets hit by a pitch. One and one now to Ryan Jeffers. For the longest time, he was struggling hitting third. They moved him down to fifth. Dead. Talking with Popkins there, if if he didn't. From overwhelmingly negative to. And and stay away. Let's not talk. We'll, okay, we'll talk. It's a whole different attitude. In the hopes that he now has put this drought. One and two to Taylor. He was so far out in front of everything. His contact. Two and two. No, I don't know. But there's been a lot of guys play with pink eye. I, I never had it, but I know. And physically, two and two. And now three and two with Correa on deck. And it's low, and they'll be loaded up for Correa. Down the left field line, Ben and Tendi with. Room to make the catch. Tomorrow's game starts an hour earlier and it's on Fox. Little roller right side. Solano has plenty of time to throw him out. One away. The end of June in Atlanta, he pitched a couple of scoreless innings.